go take Pa's ale uh, and other things as well. We'll go get bandaged up by Ma, take Pa's ale, tell him about the dog pile that we did on Kunesh as well. He's like a second father. <laughs> oh god, yeah. Yeah, he was. Man, got really involved with that guy. It's a very tearful goodbye. Maybe we can steal this huge hammer. Can we steal from our own dad? Hey dad, I'm stealing all your firewood, bitch. Son! <laughs> no? Alright, we did it. It's time to get some cool items now. It's gonna give us a sword. About the things you wanted. Yeah, about time. Have you got everything I wanted? I sure did. I have. I have charcoal, the hilt, and the ale. We can start. Good job. Let's have it then, son. All right, well Dad. Well done. Bend over, baby. Right. Let's see what kind of job the master and Sasal did for us. Oh, God. Oh. It's, it's divine. Look at that, lad. Well, that's what I call craftsmanship. What does the inscription mean? Damn if I know. Doesn't look like Czech to me. Latin, maybe? Lord Radzig ordered it. Oh, this will be the finest sword I've ever made. Oh, my God. Have you got the charcoal? Yeah. Good. And fire up the forge. We'll put it all together. All right, Dad. We can have some hot dogs while we're here, too. By the way, someone paid me a call. Was it Bianca? I reckon you might know what it was about. God damn. I'm not sure. Really? Because I'm pretty sure you and your friends threw dung at Deutsch's freshly whitewashed house. Boys. He was here with the catch pole earlier. Hang on it a was second. not a friendly visit. What got I'm going to get my out? casserole out of the oven in a sec. That Deutsch was talking treason in the tavern about Sigismund and the king. He got what he deserved. He got what he deserved. Let's hope he... this dialogue wraps up quickly so I can go do that. You can go and clean up the mess you made and apologize to him. I have a trade to run. The German pays well. And having my son in the pillory helps nothing and nobody, least of all the king. You understand? Yes. Look me in the eye, Henry. <gasps> do yes. Do you understand? No. I understand. <laughs> Good. No habla English. And we'll never have this conversation again. Okay. That's the one I would have used so on my So you think dad. it's right to let traitors speak ill of our king? The boy gets caught making a fool of himself and he still hasn't learned his lesson. No comprende. So Deutsch spouts rubbish and what? You turn into a common thug. You might win a Sorry, fight dad. with violence, but you'll never win an argument. Remember, Henry, Tell that to if you Kunesh. want to convince someone that they're wrong, try using your mouth and not your fists. Yeah, tell that one to Kunesh as well. He's a mouthy motherfucker and his fists were not, not up to the task. Second Furnace time. Furnace is ready. Right, we'll do the grip. I'll heat it up, and when I take it out, you slip the grip on so it fits exactly. You know what you're doing. Wow. Why is he putting it back in the fire? It looks like it's all ready to go, though. Or is it just like the bottom bit? Do it. <laughs> Good. Whoa. Once more. That's it. Done. Man, is this game supposed to be so now, sexual? Now file it down so it sits well in the hand. I'll prepare the guard. Uh oh, it's loose. I knew it doesn't fit. All right, we're on whittling duty. Father, why did you leave Prague? Who ever heard of a master swordsmith making horseshoes in a village? <laughs> I had my reasons, Hal. And here, I have your mother and you. Why would I want any other life? He doesn't need gloves. Do you remember Emperor Charles? I do. Life was good under his reign. Better than now. 
He built half of Prague and a score of castles, had a bridge made over the Moldau and founded a university, and all without a war. He knew how to rule. Better than Wenceslas. Better by far. Wenceslaus. But Wenceslas doesn't have it easy. It's hard to step into the shoes of someone whose like is born only once a thousand years. What about Sigismund? Do you think Charles would have brought an army down on his own people like Sigismund? No. Wenceslas may not be the equal of his father, but Sigismund, he brings shame to the royal name. It rhymes. How's it going? Yeah, good. Thanks, Dad. Give it here. Love you, Dad. And we'll put it all together. Oh. Don't damage it, Dad. You're gonna dent it. What a fuck. It's magnificent. Indeed it is. The Lord be with you. My father sent me for those nails. Good day to you, Teresa. Hi, Teresa. They're ready. Will you fetch them for me, Hal? They're in the trunk in the living room. <laughs> Boys, give me two seconds. Let me go get my, um, my casserole out of the oven. I'll be, uh, literally, I'll just be two seconds, okay? Back in a sec. It was a false alarm. I thought I heard the casserole beep, but it wasn't. It wasn't meant to be. How do I resume? Okay, we're back. Sorry about that. I might have to go back on casserole duty in a second. I'll let you know though. Go and get the nails for Teresa. Teresa, are you ready for nails? Sorry, girl. It seems the lad lost his mind. Here are those nails you wanted. Thanks. So how's Bianca? Um, she's fine. Why do you ask? You jealous? Just wondering, will you be going to the dance this evening? We will. Oh yeah. Maybe we'll see each other there. Anyway, mustn't keep you. I'll be on my way. That sword is truly beautiful. So are you, Teresa. Why now? Oh yeah. I see. I see. He's playing the field. Fine, lass, eh? Dad, don't. Now stop staring at her and come and see this. It's time for the trial by fire. Okay. All right. Light it up. Oh, yeah. It's a good one. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's a beauty. We did a fine job. I would Thanks. expect nothing less from such a renowned swordsmith. Oh, my God. Well, those days are gone, sir. Hmm. You haven't lost your skills, though. Watch him miss. He's missing, and he trips and falls over. <laughs> Pops that big pimple like in the process. Sir, what good is a sword to Splatters a common everywhere, try it. floods the village. Have a lot to learn. What Ask your father pussy. to show you how. He knows what he's about. Learning his trade will serve him better in life, <coughs> sir. Perhaps. But who knows <laughs> what the future holds for each of us? I see that you almost have it finished. Oh, it just fuck. needs a polish, then Henry will bring it to you. Excellent. 
fine work, very fine. A sword such as this will bring honor to its bearer. What say you say, Isvan? True, Sir Radzik. If I'd have had its like back in Nicopolis, things would have worked out differently. How odd. That'll be a million big ones, please. Such an accomplished please. swordsmith working in a place like this. A man of his talent would have no problem making a fortune in Prague or Vienna. You're right. It's a very long and peculiar story. I'd be glad to listen to it over a cup of wine, but duty calls and I must leave. Here you are. Learn from your father. He truly is a master of his craft. I'm sure our paths will cross again. He certainly will. Uh oh. Now look, he's got a taste for it. Dad? Once it's ready, send I want to be a warrior. Good work, Martin. Sure. What did you call him? It's been an honor, say Isvan. Have a safe journey to Sapphire. The honor is mine, Sir Radzik. Thank you for the hospitality. Oh, man. It's pretty fun, but it's a bit of a slow start, eh? A long, peculiar history. <laughs> that was a long time ago. I might tell you about it sometime, but not today. Come on, Martin. Spill the beans. Will you teach me how to use it, like Sir Radzik said? Why? Because I want to chop off some useful. fucking heads, Dad! Maybe I'll travel a bit before settling down. I'd like to know more than the tavern on the green in the forge. Huh. You know the trouble with an adventurous life, son? It can end before it gets started. I might teach you how to handle a sword, and then someone will shoot you with a crossbow as soon as you set foot outside the house. Like who? You talk as if you've seen it happen. Koresh. A man my age has seen a lot. Being a blacksmith might bring no glory, but it has its benefits, like keeping your head on your shoulders. I want to end my days in scallets here. Beneath the linden tree and by your mother's side. Well, so do I, one day. Well, but first I'd like to see the world. It's kind of gross. Meet new people. Meet them or beat them. Meet. You have to keep going on about it. <laughs> then you've no need to learn swordplay. <gasps> uh oh, Dad. It looks like you're wrong. A messenger. Bandits, three o'clock. What's happened? Shit, a horn. <gasps> uh oh. Is that gunfire? Oh no. Son, I'm gonna have to give you a crash course in self defense. Lesson number one Run! Wow, that guy seems very stern. He looks like Major Dad. God. Martin, take cover. Teresa, get that booty indoors. Bianca, Let's fetch my leather mask. Listen carefully. Take the sword, go into the house, and grab anything else important from the trunk. Go to the castle. Hurry. And what about you? Oh, your mother is in the village. I'll fetch her and we'll follow right behind. I'll go with you. No. You'll do what I say right now. Give the sword to Sir Radzik. If anything happens, he'll take care of you. He owes me. Dad, there's a burning arrow on top of your forge. Oh shit. Let me guess. Koresh is gonna survive. We got our pouch full of pennies. Oh my god. Cure the mega, uh, cure the mega death, I mean. Uh oh. Oh look, pause. Yes. Slaying foes left, right, and center. Mom, what happened to your face? No. Wow. 
He fights like an artist. Who is he? Come on, Deborah. We have to go. No. Oh, no. Martin's dead. Oh, shit. Henry, what are you doing? No. Not Debbie as well. Oh, shit. That was unnecessary. Poor Henry, look at this. He got his adventure after all. Major Dad is just like... Ha ha ha. Come. <laughs> it looks like Peter Pan. Run, Peter! Find a horse! Ride to town! Just lower it a little bit! Run by the moat! There's a path down there! Jump down from the wall and flee! Uh oh. <laughs> oh my god! Run faster! You fool! He's got the sword, though. At least that's something. Oh, look. Damn it. I need the... He needs that Excalibur. He, wow. Man, that was pretty good. We learned Skalitz. Uh-oh. Okay. It's time to run. Run. Okay. Let's run. Down this path. We can change Henry's outfit. We have to ride to Townburg and we have to get a horse. Following the path should be a safe a safe bet, right? Looks like the horse is just over here. I feel like we should have some more adrenaline for what's just happened. Maybe giving us like a stamina boost, but possibly not. It's nice around here, isn't it? Holy shit. Wait, who's that? Oh no, horse riding. Trot is the horse's basic pace. Caps lock walk gives your horse a chance to recover. W and L shift canter ideally combines a faster pace with the horse's endurance. And we can do W left shift left shift to gallop is the fastest gait, but it will soon deplete your horse's stamina. And we could use L shift to follow a path. Your horse is smarter than some people and will stick to the path if you're on it and give him his head. Just begin cantering and don't steer him. Okay. Sounds good. All right, first though, Teresa, is that you? You can call your horse at any time by whistling X, but your whistle will also be heard by people within earshot, which sometimes can be a disadvantage. While on the other hand, it could be aware. Okay, here we go. Run, Teresa! Oh shit! It's time to get on the horse. We have to mount. Run! Watch out! Whoa! What? No. Watch. We're going the wrong way. Okay. It's fine though. We can turn around. Have at ye. <laughs> oh no! No! Not my horse! Teresa, you owe me big time! I've been hit! Oh my god. Alright. Let's keep going. Oh. I've been hit in the breast, Teresa. I'll never for I'll never forget you, but also I'll never forgive you. Oh, I'm I'm cured. I've been cured. Oh my god. They're still running after me. The vagabonds. Okay, off we go. Can we get like a third person view or what? No? It's a miracle. It is but a scratch. The father was right all along. All true. These are all true. And so Peter Pan rode away on his horse. Uh oh. Oh, no, not another one. First the breast and now the leg. We might have to fight people on a horse. This could be awesome. Could be really frustrating as well. Let's prepare ourselves mentally for what's going to happen. Oh, my 
thought. Somebody has to help me. Ah, fuck, come on! Oh, oh. No! I'm getting riddled with arrows! I have to quickly get to somebody who can help us. Serious wounds. Oh my god. Okay. Come on now. Where, where am I going? Somebody's gonna... Oh my god, we've seen better days. I just have to ride faster or something like it's kind of bullshit that there's three of them on me shooting arrows at me the whole time oh for fuck's sakes we got to do all of this again god damn it ball bags gallop oh for fuck's sakes gallop gallop my ass there's three of them coming at me with bow and arrows. Okay, let's go down this way. Okay. Teresa. We'll save Teresa so that maybe later on we can get fresh with her. I think Bianca is dead. Uh-oh. Okay. This time, though. Let's see. Don't worry, Teresa. Oh, I can't get to her from this way. What? Run inside! Okay, horse. Oh god, run! Oh, that's the faster one, okay, good. We're draining the stamina, but we're going at breakneck speeds now. This time we've gotten away without getting an arrow to the heart as well. Good. Alright, I'll gallop faster this time. For fuck's sake. Okay, looks like we saved Teresa. I guess we could have let her die though by not whistling. Our first real game-changing choice. No. We're bleeding. We have to learn how to bandage ourselves, apparently. Alright, fast gallop this time, boys. We're, we've got it. We got this one in the bag, right? Right in the pussy? No. Henry doesn't have a pussy, guys. He is a pussy. But I don't think he actually... Ouch. Alright, we're going as fast as we can here. And it's working. We're getting away. Okay. Where do we have to go? We have to go patch ourselves up. Somebody has to teach us how to bandage. We discovered a fast travel point. Wonderful. Left. Almer gets to the left along the stream. Okay. Let's go. Left. Along the stream. <gasps> Watch out! We're being attacked, nuns! Run! Run for it! Run for it! Through the fields! Who's this? Fritz! Get out of the way, you stupid st son of a bitch! Come on! Oh my god. Okay, I think we're good. I think we made it. Our horse is really um, going for it. Look, he's gonna run out of puff in a minute. Talford. Maybe we can go to Milton Keynes after as well. That'd be good. Go! I'll kill you all! Keep running. I like the graphics a lot, actually. Run for it, bitch. Stop swearing. Now's not the time. Okay, the horse, the horse is starting to get pissed about the whole thing. Oh my god, they're still on me. What the? Oh, for fuck's sakes! I thought it was in the clear. Oh shit, you're gonna get mowed down. Look. I think our horse is gonna run out of puff in a sec. They're still right on me. Okay, I hope there, there's a, a booby trap waiting for us at this place. Look, the horse is just whinnying like crazy. Keep going! Push! Faster! We're almost there, boy! We did it! Oh, God. It was a close one. Get 
Keep whipping his ass, Henry. Quick, battle stations, everybody. Shoot some arrows, quick! Get your asses here! Hey! And... Loose! Nice! Shoot, shoot, shoot! Hot your bosom kisses! What did he say to me? Oh, man. Okay. We're safe for now. First things first, we have to find a new Bianca. God damn. Shot in the butt, everybody, as you can see. <clears throat> Try not to laugh too much. Someone give him a drink and bring hot wine and bandages. <laughs> Thanks. Nice. He called me a whore. Tell me, How dare boy, he? Who are you and where are you from? What in hell's name happened? I've come from Scalitz. They burned it to the ground, slaughtered everyone. Who? Who burned it to the ground? A huge army. They were Australian, they I think. Without warning, and, and they weren't Czechs or Germans either. Who then? I don't know. I've never seen armor like it or heard their language. Maybe Tartars. Who's that? Tartars, you say? Yeah. What's Obi Wan? Well, we'll deal with that again. later. First, let's have a look at that leg of yours. Grit your teeth, boy. I'm gonna pull that hair out. Uh-oh. Yeah! Oh, damn. I'm bleeding out from my butt now. Easy. All done. You're fine. You were lucky, lad. Hit you in the glue. The arrow missed the bone. It only needed bandaging, and I've done that often enough before. War is a good teacher. Can you stand? <laughs> oh my there you go. God. Good as new. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. Thank you. If you idlers nothing better to do, get back to work. You'll have to speak to Lord Dibbish. Can you manage? Yeah, yeah. Do you guys have a charcoal cellar here? My dad taught me everything I know. First, Fist fight an old man. Second, buy some charcoal. Third, get a cool sword that you can't use. Sir, this is a survivor from I heard, Robart. Tell me, boy, what exactly happened? Did you see the insides of the attackers? And were there any more survivors? Sir, um, I don't know what army it was, but it was huge. There were dozens of banners flying on the hill above Scalitz. The ones who did the slaughtering spoke a, a strange language. They burned scallops to the ground. But a lot of people took refuge in the castle. I wasn't quick enough. And as I fled, they shouted from the battlements that I should come and warn you. The soldiers the boy didn't recognize. They could be those Cumans of Sigismund's. It said they came to Hungary from the east, and now they're the core of his army. Sacking Gutenberg. Must have given him a taste for stolen silver. Scalos is a small castle, sir. If Sigismund attacks, they can't hold. Indeed, sir Robard. This, this and is our small garrison would be no help, even if we could risk sending them. You this think is we're the next first in line? ever American, guys? Maybe. If you're American, this is your forefather here in 1403. What's your name, boy? I'm Henry, son of the Scalitz blacksmith. I know him. Did he make it inside the castle? I'm sorry. It's in God's hands now. No one else can help us. My lord, I'm having anyway, trouble placing your accent. Thank you for risking your neck to warn us. Where are you from? 
Robard, take care of Henry. Make I'm sure from Sheboygan, Wisconsin, son. Yes, sir. And get all the people inside the gates. We have to prepare for the worst. God is dead. Maybe. Oh, it's a Make Canadian all the necessary accent. Arrangements. Sorry. From Moosehead, Saskatchewan, son. From Darkest Regina. <laughs> Oh, God. Okay, we made it. We made it to Talmberg. So Americans came from Hungary? That's right. We have to talk to Sir Robard. Oh, we discovered our own bed as well. Nice. We also discovered a baker, so we can get some fine pretzels if we want them. Nice. Our game has been saved. Okay, which one's our bed? Hi. How are you? Oh, we can't we can't lockpick that. This must you be our room. To check the supplies, like I told you is this our bed? No, sir. I checked and it seems everything is in order. Okay, right. guys. But buy a couple of kegs of wine when you've done your other chores. My legs really sore. Sure I'm just gonna good. sit here and eavesdrop, no okay? You can count on me, sir. Sorry, what is that? Get the hell out of here. There's sorry. nothing here for you. Okay, sorry, sorry. No oh, man. Where's my bed? Hello, Robard. Can you show me around? I'm a bit lost. I thought well, that was man. my room. I'm sorry for your loss. You must be all done in. Why don't you go to the kitchen and have a good meal? Sorrow is easier to bear on a full stomach. Yeah, that I heard about your father. My parents died. He was a Sorry, I'm actually talking to somebody else right now. I can't understand why he'd waste his talents, but I'm sure he had his reasons. He had a fine Teresa? Reputation. No, that's not her. It's a great loss. Okay, well, here we've arrived at the kitchen. Oh. I learned kitchens. Ah, milady. You are fortunate our good lady Stephanie of Talmberg has graced us with her presence. My lady, I'm honored. So this is our brave young oh, man. Oh shit. Welcome, lad. Bojena here will take care of you. No doubt you're tired and hungry. <laughs> Indeed. How could he not be, poor soul? After everything he's been through, he must be as hungry as a bear. Aren't you, young master? Yeah, I am. Here starving. You are, then. Oh my god. Eat your fill. Here you go. And a little wine. Shit in a bowl, son. Thank you, my lady. <clears throat> When you're done, you can go and rest with the grooms in the outer valley. No, that won't do, Sir Robard. After all he's been through, he deserves a proper bed. Let him sleep in a lodge in the courtyard. <laughs> Certainly. Nice. Young Henry here is overwhelmed by your generosity. Yes, yes. Thank you, my lady. May God reward you for your kindness. Eat up now. Looks like her teeth you're are having a fight hand, with their so mouth. Look. I'll leave you to it. Good night. Good night. It's because dentures weren't like a common thing in 1403 and they hadn't quite perfected them. When you've done, you can sleep in the bedchamber of the courtyard lodge. And don't forget to take off those filthy boots before getting into bed. Oh. Sorry, I always sleep with my boots on, actually. It's just a personal choice. Doesn't matter how dirty they are, I have to have them on. I feel naked without them. She's into me, yeah, I think so. I think you're right about that, actually. It's not wise to ignore hunger. The longer Henry doesn't eat, the weaker he gets. If he fasts long enough, he can even die. Different foods have different properties. E.g., an apple won't fill you up like a roast duck, but it will stay fresh for longer. Some foods can be more... Oh. Okay. Let's eat the, the lentil mash. Hold on a sec. I didn't realize that we were we were so hungry. Holy crap. Okay, our nourishment. We have the lentil soup that we brought from home as well. Mmm, tastes good. Let's eat like an entire wheel of cheese as well. Get our nourishment and energy up as well. Got five carrots left, which actually are really good for trading, but we're going to eat them anyway. And uh, we also have some groschen here. We have... It feels like so long ago that this was our, our prized possession. Kunesh's key, but now he's probably dead. 
<laughs> she probably died. Okay, let's grab some roast duck. Mm. Oh. Three roast ducks. I'll take them. What are these? Bread rolls. Mm. That'll do. Pig, thanks so much for all of this food. You don't mind that I'm just taking all of this cheese as well? The cheese is here for me, right? Nobody else is coming in there? In here to have any food? I can just have all of this? Oh, this, is, this is a bonanza of food. This is too much food. We're gonna have to squirrel some of it away. Maybe hide it under our pillow or something. Is there anything else in here? Oh. Oh, we can eat it right from the pot too. Hmm. Hope you don't mind. Drop into the pot. Look where you're going. I'm sorry. Hey, what's up, guys? How's it going? You guys are just eating some. It looks like that guy threw up in the bowl and now he's eating it. Hey, are these watch are it. these free gloves? I remember you. Okay, sorry. Okay, let's see it now. Hang on a second. Our nourishment is at 82. Let's just top up with a couple of apples. Nice. Okay. Where are we? And what are we doing now? Oh, I see. We're in Zelmberg. We went through Rovna. Skalitz is back there, but it's been taken. Oh, the map's not that big, actually. I think we're about 50% through the game now. It seems crazy, right? But activity giver. Go to the courtyard lodge and sleep there until morning. Sounds good. There's a couple of quests in this place, I think. Where's the courtyard lodge? Is it here? Hey, what's up? Hello? Oh, alright. Alright. This must be the lodge here, right? If you're tired, your stamina and eloquence will also gradually decrease. Sleep is the solution. Find an available bed, which you'll recognize from the icon on the compass. It's gotta be this one, right? Sit on it. Sit on it, E. Launch sleep, E, and set how long you want to sleep for. Okay. Let's launch sleep. Oh, nice. How long do we want to sleep for? Let's sleep for eight hours. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. We only got one hour of sleep. Today the patrols will be doubled. Keep your eyes peeled. If you see anything out of the ordinary, report it immediately. Understood? Yes, sir. He didn't take his boots off. Yes? Hello? It is I, Henry. Oh. Forgive the intrusion. I didn't wake you, boy. Did I? No. My lady. Uh, I was having nightmares. What's um, that? A pudding? No, no, not at all. But what brings you here at this hour? Booty I call, think Henry. You could do with a little wine. Oh. It's just what you need Man, to help you see. This might be too hot for Twitch boys. We might have My to lady. turn it off in a sec. Thank you. You really shouldn't. You could have sent a sermon. I was going to, but to tell you the truth, I couldn't sleep either. Oh. I thought of you while saying my prayers. Oh. How awful it must have been for you. Yeah, it was. I came to offer you solace, to let you know you're not alone. Oh, thank you. Good, thanks. Thank you kindly. You're welcome. Now, Henry. I know this is all very new and strange for you. Yeah. But I want you to feel at home here. Okay. You're not to worry about anything except getting better. God oh. knows you've been through a terrible ordeal. I know what it is to be left alone in the world. <laughs> Although your <laughs> loss is much play. greater. Oh my God. But with God's help, the pain will ease in time. And it can help to talk about it, if you feel like it. Oh. 
I thought that was going somewhere else, actually, but I guess not. I guess not. I just can't talk about it. Tell the story of the raid. All right, let's tell her about it. Maybe she'll feel really sorry for us. You and might then... be right, my lady. Bam! I'll tell you what happened. It was terrible and unexpected. The day started just like any other. Father sent me into town on some errands. I went to the tavern for ale and met my sweetheart. I went to collect a debt. A fellow by the name of Kunish owed money to father, who sent me to collect it from him. Only Kunish had no intention of paying. So I beat his it ass. It got a bit heated, as often happens when there's money involved. But Kunish still wouldn't cough up the coin. Father was too generous for his own good, letting even a scoundrel like that buy on credit. Oh. Oh. When I'd done all the errands, I headed back home. I promised father I'd help him with his work, and I was looking forward to it. He was forging a sword for Sir Radzik. <gasps> Sir Radzik came to look at the sword. The sword was taking shape when Sir Radzik himself came to have a look at it. He praised father's work and said that with his smithing skills, he could easily make a living in Prague or Vienna. You don't say. But Sigismund's horde was already She's on the horizon, backstab us, isn't ready she? to attack the town. There was a huge horde of attacker. I saw smoke on the horizon. There was a huge a horde, horde of soldiers was amassed. Pennants flapped in the wind. The armor glinted in the sunlight and the horses whinnied impatiently. <laughs> they were waiting for Sigismund to give the command to attack. How awful. No, the whinnying. And then death descended on It's spirit. all I hear when I close my eyes. I saw them. They killed my father and mother. Okay, let's not tell father her about Bianca just in case. The castle while he went to get mother. She was stranded in the town, surrounded by Sigismund butchers. She's and trying to find out if we're single. This is what it's all about. Another. I never saw him fight like that. But then the leader of Sigismund's raiding party, a knight in full armor, saw father and charged at him. But then the leader of Sigismund's raiding party, a knight in full armor, saw father and Henry, charged at him. It's Bianca. I survived the thought. raid. I hope you wait for me and mother. don't end up shagging the first skirt you blood. meet. You poor boy. May the Lord have mercy on their souls. Mark, I ran to the I'm castle trying to like work my magic here. Come, but I didn't make it. I had to find another way to save myself. The men on the battlements called down to me to flee to Talmberg and warn you. I was lucky I knew a concealed path around the castle. Uh, I needed a horse. I needed a horse to get to the safety of Talmberg and to warn you all. And with all that was happening, you thought of others like a good Christian. Then I heard a scream. Actually, I'm a Teresa, Satanist. The mill wench. She'd been caught by a gang of cumin savages who planned to violate her. Oh, God. I had Sir Radzik's sword, and even though there were several of them and they were better armed, I had to try and save her. I wanted there to be at least one person I'd helped. And I succeeded, even though it almost cost me my life. After that, I stole a horse from them and rode off. That is not like true. A valiant knight. <laughs> oh my god. But maybe. It maybe it'll get us the in, in the life. sack. You, okay, good. That's terrible. How could something like that happen? I don't know. God alone knows why he lets such things happen. Oh, you poor boy. I understand your grief, but God is not to blame for the ills of this world. That is the work of Satan and those who do his bidding. Those who are corrupted by greed, envy, and pride. You must not lose faith, whatever life brings. Praise Satan. Fate has not been merciful to me and my husband either. Oh. Although in comparison to the horrors Oh, you're you married, through, I see. I see. I was young when I married my husband. It was my father's wish. Divish was a lot older than I, but a woman must bear her lot. Shortly after our marriage, before I even got a look at Talmberg, the castle was stormed and my husband was imprisoned. Really? Is he dead? My husband had some quarrel with Sir Havel Medek of Valdek, who decided to resolve it by force. He stormed the castle, burned down the village of Probislavitz, and killed many of our men, even the old chamberlain. 
He imprisoned my husband in the castle and put his own garrison there. That's awful. Did he die, though? I was barely 18 years old, and... How all long of a sudden, ago did this happen? I was left alone with Sir Robert. We didn't know what to do. We went to Prague to appeal to the king. And did this happen like last year friends, or something? I need to get like some sort of no idea. How, she looks older though. So, tried for years. So there's a, so there's a but chance. But it seemed I was destined to be left alone and my husband to rot in jail in his own castle. Years, yeah. you say? Seven years. Oh. Hang on a second. That's how long it took before Havel was condemned Wait, as an enemy of the crown. Wait, she's only 25? That can't be right. And even then, he refused to surrender the castle and release my husband. In the end, I raised the money to pay a ransom. And only then, by the grace of Lord Jesus, did I finally lay eyes on my husband once more. God damn, seven years. And was Havel punished for it? Never. And after seven years, my husband returned to me an infirm old man. Mm. Sir Dibish seems like a good, strong man. Well, certainly. Only he has many concerns. He had to rebuild Talmberg. After he was released, the king appointed him Burgrave of Prague Castle, and he was very busy. I, I bet. He had no time for me at all. Oh. But at least we were in the city. And yeah. There was something going on. And now, we're here. My lady, you're still young and beautiful. Very attractive. <laughs> the best years are still ahead of you. That's right, baby. Would that that were true, lad. Would it were true. Come on. But what am I doing bothering you with this? Come you on. You have troubles enough of your own. Let's have a tumble quick. I'll Come on. And let you sleep. I don't want to be alone. I enjoyed our little talk, Henry. Good night, and God bless. She's a spy. Good night, my lady. All right. We'll have to get our Satan worshipping gear out and channel our inner Satan. If she was spying on us and she tried to get some information about me, she's going to have to go. She's going to have to taste the steel. <laughs> Oh fuck. This is a complicated game already. It's an emotional roller coaster. We learned women in the Middle Ages. Nice. Nice. If you do decide to lay with another, I hope she's not already married. Be good, dear Henry. It's <laughs> Poor Henry. Look at this. Fight him, Henry! Oh! Oh no! I'm still alive, Henry. Come back to get us. Henry, wake up. You don't want to miss this. What is it? What's happening? Come to the battlements. One of our patrols reported a company heading here from Scallops. Uh oh. Go to the battlements by the gateway stairs. <sighs> okay. Let me just check. Okay. Nourishment and energy levels. We don't have a thing like in Subnautica to tell. We have to take the torch from the table. Okay. Let's pick it up. If you need a, a, a light at night, use your torch by holding I. L? But if you want to keep your left hand free, for example, use... <laughs> uh, where's my torch? Okay. <laughs> Alright, I can see now. Oh, we can lockpick this. It's very easy. You learned locks. What, how, what do I have to, like, do? Do I have to... How, what the... 
the fuck? Help. In order to pick locks, you must have at least one lock pick in your inventory. Although it's better to have one or two spares since they get worn with use and in the worst case can break. You can start the actual lock picking process by holding E on the lock. You'll then see a diagram of the lock mechanism in which you have to find the right spot to insert. <laughs> How close you are to the spot, sweet spot is indicated by the size of the cursor and it turns gold when you find it. Then you have to use the lock pick. D to turn the whole lock mechanism. At the same time, you have to coordinate the movement of the lock pick with the rotation of the mechanism because the rotation shifts the position of the sweet spot. Try, if you try to turn the mechanism without having the lock pick in the correct position, the mechanism will stick, which will damage the lock pick or even break it. Okay, I think I know what to do. So the sweet spot was like here. We have to like. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's fucking stupid. All right. Hello? How <laughs> I? Why is the door locked? What are you guys doing in here? Hi. Why did you lock the door? Fear off before I have you thrown out. Praise Satan. <laughs> Look, I'm doing the exorcist. <laughs> what part didn't you understand? Sorry. Oh, oh come on! Help. I was just I was out. just messing around. Help. No, I, I I no, it wasn't me. Surrender. What? You've committed a violation. No. No. Please. I'm okay, I surrender. surrender. I surrender. I surrender. I don't want to fight. Shit. Who the hell do you think you are? Didn't I tell you you've no business here? You Look, I was just showing off my exorcist doing. move. That will land you a fat fine. Oh, I don't have enough money. Oh, God, I have been given a secret task, though. You're making a serious mistake. Oh, God, I failed that one. You just got yourself into. This won't end well for you. Shit. You think I'm so stupid as to fall for such a fairy tale? Not a chance. I don't have enough money to pay the fine. That's too much. I don't have that much coin. You still have to pay the penalty. Looks like you'll have to sit it out in jail. Wait. All right, sure, no problem. Uh, <laughs> fuck. Fuck. This won't... We were meant to be watching, watching the... Oh shit, there was a, a big battle coming that we were gonna watch and now we have to rot in jail. We can't save scum in this game either, I don't think it lets you. What? I can't see shit. Oh, where are we going now? Jail, no. I'm so bad. What the fuck? How was I supposed to know that there'd be guys? <laughs> Who the hell do you think you are? Didn't I tell you you've no business here? We fucking been through this already. What you were doing? That will land you a fat fine. We fucking been through this one already. Okay, I'm in the service of the Lord of Rate. All right, that's enough. Fuck! <laughs> Maybe you didn't realize, but I'm in the service of the Lord of Ratai. Hey there, Dad. Fuck. Been looking forward to watching you do this. Uh, Here's a medieval stinker else. for you. What do you call a knight who's afraid to fight? Surrender. Have a good one. <laughs> Thanks, it's Captain Disco. I don't have enough money. That much? I don't have enough on me. Well, it's a jail cell for you, then. Fuck. Okay, sure. So Whoa! You're a violation. You're under okay, we might see this fight yet. How? No! The gateway stairs! I found them! Okay, the battlements. Hold up a second. Where's the battlements? We're on the battlements. Keep running. Don't get tempted by pretzels. Prepare for the worst. Don't move them, but don't be daunted by their numbers. Surrender. Okay. God, ignore these way. guys. No! <laughs> no! No! Come on! Oh, for fuck's sake. I was there to help. <laughs> Fuck. It's like a horror movie. <laughs> Shit. 
Man, I was just trying to fucking help with the fight. The big fight that was coming. Jeez, man, they don't give second chances, eh? Holy Christ. You're free to go. Okay. <laughs> Are you serious? Sir Divish doesn't want our hero <laughs> locked up. Oh. Go Wait. then, you fucker. Whoa, okay. <laughs> What's going on with this game right now? You're free to go. <laughs> okay. What? Are you serious? <laughs> Sir Divish doesn't want our hero. It's like him. Groundhog Day. Go then, you fucker. It hurts every time. Okay. Okay, we're bleeding bad. Let me use a bandage. Hold up a second. Bandage. Let's apply this bandage. Okay. Okay. To the head. Select the body part that you want to... The head. Okay. Let's put three bandages on. Alright, our head is all bandaged up now. That should stop the bleeding. It hasn't stopped the bleeding much. You guys could have gone a little bit easy on me, okay? What? Let me hey. get... Let me get by! Let me see. Okay. Whew. Alright, sure. It's time to find the battlements again. What's up? Hey. Out of my way. I hope that- I hope the fight isn't over. Oh, man. What a mess I found myself in. Should be fine, though. There's a lot of blood trickling down my face. Alright, sorry about that, I'm back. How's it going? What the hell? What? They don't know this country like we do. We could hide out somewhere until it blows over. I made it. What's going on? What's going on? I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. Why would Sigismund advance on Talmud in the night? Especially since he's lost the element of surprise after the raid on Scout. Then who is it? The state of us. Scout Divis sent to Scarlet to spy on Sigismund. Said he'd set up camp and was getting ready to storm the castle. And Sir Radzig is an experienced soldier. He'd surely hold the castle for quite some time. It doesn't make sense. What else did the spies see? Not much of anything. Before they could get close enough, this huge storm started. And you were right. Sigismund has a hell of a lot of soldiers, including all manner of mercenaries. An army like that costs a fortune. Well, well anyway, we'll find out when they get here. Won't we? I we will. Are you going to ask me what happened to my face? Your goons. They beat me up. All I was doing was showing off in the barracks. <laughs> Fuck. Uh oh. Halt! Who goes there? Lucifer and all his minions. Who else, Robber? Sir Antic. What a relief. Is his lordship there with you? Yes, sir. He is right here. What are you doing up so late, Divish? At your age, you need a good night's sleep. <laughs> well, Rantic, you didn't exactly pick the best time for an outing either. In a big hurry? It was a bit of a scramble, all right. Believe it or not, this tempest is a godsend for me and my men. As my old granddad used to say, better a sore throat than a slit throat. I'd what say your saying. grandfather was a wise man. Your messenger told us what happened. Messenger? The lad you sent to warn us. He's alive? He made it to you. He's here well, with me. He only got away by the skin of his teeth. They're beating me up in here. <laughs> a brave young man. They, they put a me in jail. Friend. How on earth did you manage to get away? Thank God for this tempest. When it began, Sigismund's Tatars crawled into their holes and left a storm in the castle for more clement weather. We were able to sneak out right under their noses. The Lord be praised. We wouldn't have stood a chance against them. Would you like to spend the night in Talmberg? No, oh my no. God. When Sigismund finds the castle empty, one tomorrow, night in Talmberg. looking for us. We'd only be exposing you to danger. Without me and my men, he has no call to attack you. What will you do then? We'll march to Ratai. It's only a short way, and there we'll have a better chance of defense and enough room for all of these people. If Sigismund should come, better bend your knee, Divish. There's no point dying in a battle that's futile. 
You're right there. Is that boy still with you? Tell him no. No. I'm here, sir. Ah. Oh. You have courage, lad. That I can't deny. I am sorry about what happened. Would you care to join us? Can I use the sword? I'd like to, sir, but first I have to return to Skalix. Are you mad? What do you want there? I can't leave my mother and father. Revenge! I won't leave their corpses rotting in the street. I'll join you once I've taken care of them. Don't even think of going back there, you donkey. Are you tired of living? But sir! Quiet! Whoa. I'm sorry about your father, but getting killed as well won't help him. Divish, make sure that lad doesn't budge from Talmberg until things quieten down. Not to worry, friend. Anyway, he's injured and needs to recover. Yeah. I'll lock him up here. Because of his goons! Balding. Get me out of here! I see you've grown a thick skin since your tribulation, sir. But thank you. They're beating me all we'll the time! Meet again when circumstances are more favorable. Farewell. Farewell, friend. And good fortune. Give my regards to Sir Hanish. I Man. will. And good luck to you and your people, too. It's a dark time. Also, uh, David, just before I leave. I can't quite place your accent. What part of the world are you meant to be from? Well, anyway, see you later.